Hello, my name is Nada Kurtić and I am a teacher of English as a foreign language at Žarko Zrenjanin Primary School in Novi Sad, Serbia. English vocabulary anytime, anywhere is a learning activity, the aim of which is to transform the way students learn new vocabulary in English lessons by using their mobile devices to create a collaborative online picture dictionary. Today, most students carry their mobile phones and are connected to the internet anytime, anywhere. And this is why I decided to make use of that fact and start this learning activity of engaging students to create their own collaborative digital picture dictionary, which they can use whenever and wherever they need it. Students pick and create the entries for the dictionary themselves. By installing two very user-friendly applications, WordPress and Diddler, they can easily take or draw pictures from the real world and post them directly from their mobile devices to a mob block created for this purpose. They can do it anytime and anywhere and bring the world back to the classroom. By tagging the pictures and posting them in the right category, it's very easy to organize and browse the dictionary on any mobile device. Adding new items to the dictionary is interesting and creative. And looking new words up is easy, helpful and fun. Anyone can do it. They collaborate in three levels. First, as a whole class when they go through the syllabus and decide on the topics for the dictionary. Then, in small groups when they design a work plan and choose which words to add within a certain topic. And finally, when each member of the group contributes with his or her picture or drawing. It is in this stage students share pictures for feedback and revise them accordingly. When drawing entries for the dictionary in art lessons, students present words non-linguistically. They apply their ability of visual memorization of objects and use their knowledge of how to construct meaning through lines, shapes and colors. By creating a dictionary with the data from the real world for the authentic and unknown audience who can use it in realistic context and for authentic purposes, students design one of the most important and powerful resources for language learning which they or anyone else can use in further education long after this activity is over. This activity is gamified. Apart from being given points, badges and quests for finding and adding new words to the dictionary, students also create games and quizzes for their classmates, play them, interact and learn from each other and in this way peer learning is developed.